Hello, this is Sweet Jesus here, and I am being led to share and warn about this Halloween. God has given me several warning dreams, and two of them back to back. The first one was on May 30th, 2020. My friends and I were back in the dorm studying like he has us a lot lately, taking classes again, preparing for what's to come in this world. And we walked out to the grassy area in front of the dorms and we were watching this girl we knew and she stepped out of the car and she was Hugely pregnant, like about to give birth. Very large belly. And she had gotten pregnant by this other man. And when she stepped out of the car, people were with her. And they went and sat on the front row of this balcony. She hung her belly over the ledge. And God zoomed in. On her belly resting on the balcony edge like he does in many of my dreams he zooms in to the area he wants me to focus on what he's telling me so he zoomed into the belly and it was a scary jack-o-lantern on it for some reason while I was looking up at them I thought of President Lincoln sitting in the balcony at a play right before he was assassinated then I looked down to where the father of this child was, and he was in a diner, and other people were around him. He was represented as a black, shadowy person, a tall man. He was shot in front of us and killed instantly, as we were watching from the grass. Then a voice came from, like, the air, like it does sometimes, and the voice said very clearly, he is dead now. You don't have to worry anymore to the pregnant lady that had the jack-o'-lantern belly. The lady and the people were relieved. That was the end of the dream. Now, in my spirit, I felt it was Trump who was being assassinated. Now, the pregnant lady with a jack-o'-lantern on her belly i was not told who that was um it could have been obama i have had several dreams words given to me about him but in this dream i was not shown who that was but i had a dream the very next night that i need to share with you so I was in my convertible and waiting by tennis courts for my husband to show up. And this man all of a sudden was like really close to me, just staring at me. And I could tell he was pure evil. So I quickly drove off. I met my husband and there was another man there. But we don't know who the man was. But he led us into the woods on a trail. And so we went in these woods. He was in front. I didn't want to go. And I kept saying, let's turn back. The guy and my husband were hurrying up down the path in front of me. And it winded around. And it was in the evening. Until we came to a large hill with a white house on top of it. As soon as the guy came to the corner of the front of the house. On the porch was a ferocious black dog. Now, the night before that, I had a dream about this white house and a ferocious black dog, but then the dog was chained up. Well, this time, the dog was not chained up. And he started to chase the guy. We ran as fast as we could through the woods. My husband and I made it back out of the woods and noticed the dog was not chasing us. 
we came out of the woods where there was a group of houses on a hill. The guy we were with had disappeared. He was still, we didn't know what happened to him. So we were worried about him in the dream. So we went up these tall steps on the back of this house and we stood in line with people in front of us and behind us while keeping an eye on the White House, which seems to be just a couple houses down from this one, to see if our friend was over there. As we were in line and got close to the door, there was a lady standing off to the side, smiling and talking to people, but I had a knowing that she was being, she was acting fake. And um, she walked over to the house, to the White House, to where the mean dog was. She looked just like Michelle Obama. During that time, we were at the front door of the house, um, and they were trick-or-treating. And I was like, what? We, we, we're not dressed up. We don't have, you know, I didn't know it was Halloween. And I looked down, sure enough, I'm dressed up. My husband's dressed up. So we took some candy, and we walked away. Then we walked down the stairs, and our friend met us. And he said, and he was pointing to that lady. He said, that lady over there, the one who looked like Michelle Obama, just went over to that White House, kicked the black dog in the stomach, and walked back over here like nothing happened. We were all shocked. And then the dream ended. Now, I am not sure if the dog represented Obama and his wife. It's just odd to me that the woman looked like Michelle Obama. She didn't look like anybody else but Michelle Obama. Um, White House represented literally the White House. And um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, I just wanted to let you know it was Halloween. And the black ferocious dog was now unleashed. Where it was chained up the night before in my dream or vision. It was quick of just this white house and a black dog chained up. The next night, it's not chained up and it's Halloween night. Okay. So, my next dream, and this was uh, July, July 7th. Okay. <laughs> my sister and I, we're standing in the middle of a building. We were dressed up head to toe, beautiful red like gowns, some kind of dress, beautiful. The same dress, my sister and I both. Okay, I thought this was odd. So in this building, all around us were these doors. And all of a sudden, all these people came in. Now at the very beginning, God showed me like Halloween, like pumpkin, like it represented Halloween. So I knew it was Halloween. All these people were coming in every door. It was like an invasion. And they all had gray suits on, like a gray vest. But it was gray, like vest. They all looked the same. And they were all like marching in straight line, coming in every opening there was surrounding us. And they were, and I could tell they were evil and that was it. Okay. So the red dresses, my sister and I represent America. Like, and I'm, I'm pretty sure in revelations, it talks about the harlot. Well, the red dresses, America possibly being invaded, um, on Halloween. I don't know for sure. This is just what I was shown. But I also got in my spirit around this time Luciferian marches going on. Um, but the gray suits stuck out. The gray, like vest, gray, coming in every door. It was Halloween and we were representing America. Okay, so that was that dream. And then I had another dream in September the 6th, 2020. This one was short. It was a room where kids who were not trick-or-treating 
but we're in a room and these two ladies were at a white table sitting behind a white table handing out candy to these kids i was sitting at a desk and i just looked straight up and above me was a bat and it was flying around above me and it just kept on circling above my head and that was my dream so then i look up you know the meaning of bat and um it talks about satan and curses and darkness and again it had to do with halloween okay so then i had another dream and this one another short one i was watching a toddler a little boy dance around in his halloween costume and his parents were watching and i was watching and i told his mom oh your your son's cute then the, the little boy turned to me, looked me in the face, and he was blind. And that was it. Now, what I take from that dream is that people are blind to what is coming this Halloween, what's really going on. So that is why I had to get these dreams out um, so we can pray. We have got to pray against the evil whatever is being planned we need to pray do not send your kids out on halloween stay at home be in prayer please tell other people i know that there have been other warnings i am just one person who gets visions and dreams there are so many out there and that's what god wants so we can all share it so please 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 stay in and pray against all of this stuff that's going on. Um, stay safe and God bless. Bye.